Hello. Hello. Welcome to playing with Nat64 with OpenBSD. We're going to boot the OpenBSD box right now. And uh, while it's booting, you'll see that we do indeed have OpenBSD up and running. We'll check the packages. You only need a few. Live daemon and top D are all you need. The next thing we'll do is we'll install the router advertisement daemon package. It compiles and runs very well on OpenBSD. Easy to set up and install. Now we've got to make sure our RC scripts are configured. With these configured, we can uh, reboot this nicely so it starts up. This box was already pre-configured. However, you'll see the steps from in the blog article that correspond with the video. I use uh, DHCP, but we don't want to do that. Use a static address for your router. Routers don't have DHCP addresses, so you all know that. This is just a lab after all. So you see in the package scripts we have the daemons getting ready to start up. I just copied the .d file into the router advertisement daemon file and that enabled me to let it start up easy. You can see the route advertisement daemon config file here. We advertise our prefix and the magic is the RDNSS which says to set the recursive DNS for the subnet to RDNS which will be the top D server. And you can see we tell pot D to convert the prefix to the normal prefix. And we pass in with the packet build and control the address that we need. Here is what the interfaces look like. You can see some output. You'll see that NAT, D is, NAT translation is already going strong. And we'll check our packet filter states. You can pause here and see that we are indeed doing NAT64. We see this IPv4 host. And you'll see the IP addresses are translated here. You'll also see a pure IPv6 address, or I mean a host that doesn't have anything but IP6. Now we'll sniff some packets, see what goes on there. And you can see here that the source and the destination frames are indeed using the NATed subnet. So we'll use the good old IP6 tester and it detects NAT 6 to 4. And we can indeed see that once again we're doing NAT 6 to 4 translation. Well, not here because that was the uh, IP6 test. And lastly, some clients don't pick up DNS from the route advertiser, but this one picked it up. The second one is a static one I put in there because this was already used for something else. 
uh, the Mac client will pick it right up and set the DNS. And you can see here the daemon makes its own result.conf and that information is moved into place. Thank you.